Hey guys, I'm Papa Pete and welcome back for part two of my top 10 favorite games in Brett Weiss's NES Omnibus Volume 1 A through L. It's a bit of a response video. He did a, a video where he listed his top five favorite games from the book. And I thought I was going to do it one step better because, you know, uh, it's not really a matter of the top 10 best games, but it's, it's just my personal favorites. They aren't necessarily the absolute, what I would call the best games in the system or the most highly rated overall games. Well, no, by no means are they, but they're the games that meant the most to me. So I didn't want to try to narrow it down to just five. I decided to do 10 and I think I might have a few surprises for you. I just finished up. If you haven't seen my video of number 10 through number six, check that out. I'll put a link to it right up here. Okay, you didn't go, so they, you're all ready to watch numbers 5 through 1. So without further ado, let's get started. My top 5 favorite games from the NES Omnibus Volume 1, A through L. Here we go. Papa P, Papa P, the old ass gamer. P, Papa P, the old ass gamer. If you haven't grown up by the age of 50. Number five. So the first game I'm going to show you is a game that we all know and love. And I bet you it's on a lot of people's list. And that is Contra. Contra is a fantastic game. I mean, uh, it's infamous, whether it's the Konami code. And yes, I always used to play with the Konami code so I could get to see the most of it. But as you get better and better, it started to get so you really didn't need to use the Konami code. Because it was a type of game that no matter how many times you beat it, you just wanted to play it again and again and again because it was that much fun. It was smooth gameplay, uh, great storyline, perfect length, perfect balance of difficulty and challenge. Uh, but man, I don't know, just a great fantastic game and its longevity has proven that point everybody knows about contra and frankly contra on the nes might be more loved than contra on the arcade anyway this is my number five so here we go number four i'm going to tell you first of all a little disclaimer that when i was a kid i played a lot of sports and sports games were some of my favorite video games to play so baseball i played tons of baseball softball growing up through i started when i was very very young when i was six years old my brother was 18 and he was trying out for like senior teams and such and and he would put a glove on me and a hockey net behind me and go out and practice his pitching to me at 18 so here i was six seven years old and he'd be firing the ball at me like an 18 year old no he wasn't nolan ryan but he's still an 18 year old kid throwing balls at a six year old and the thing about it was if i could reach it i could catch it so i always always loved baseball and played it my whole life so I, when it came to video games i always gravitated right towards the the baseball games the hockey games and all the different sports that i played now i loved rbi baseball but my number four favorite game is my favorite baseball game of all time in the NES system, and that is Baseball Stars. This, if you haven't played it by SNK, is probably the best engine for playing baseball of all the different games combined. Whether it's Bases Loaded or, or RBI or even Dusty Diamonds, I've played them all. Uh, but this one is the best feeling, whether it's diving for the catches or swinging for the fences plus not only that but it let you play uh, career modes franchise modes you could save players with the battery backup uh, you could create yourself in the game you could have salaries and draft players it was just a fantastic game there is a baseball stars 2 i have not played it this is the copy that i had when i was a kid but uh man uh i've heard not as many good things about baseball stars 2 frankly as baseball stars 1 and of course nothing was more interesting than getting the softball team the lovely ladies out there playing against whatever team you had uh, you had made and it was it was just a lot of fun and uh, very intuitive i really really enjoy number four on my list baseball stars number three so the third game on my list, I played this game for the very first time as a rental down in Bangor, Maine when I was down at my sister's and I fell in love with it. Uh, I had to get it not long thereafter. That copy disappeared, but I bought this one about three or four years ago. I was really happy to find a good deal on eBay. And to this day, I simply love Excite Bike. It's simple, but it's fun. Whether it's the five uh, original tracks that are made, those are a lot of fun to play to try to get yourself up and through. It's fun to play head-to-head, -to -head, two players. Uh, but it's also uh, probably the most 
uh, interesting part of this game is building your own tracks. So that was the first thing we used to gravitate to. We get we rent it and we make a track, and then you wouldn't want to turn it off, of course, because when you turn it off, you lose your track. Uh, it seemed like we used to make them over and over and over again, and they were always uh, very similar. Actually, I always wanted to use those big ramps and such, and the big mountains in them. But uh, anyway, the only black box game on my list. And, uh, man, uh, to me, this is the best of all the black box games. Excite Bike, you gotta love it. Number two. So number two is ice hockey. Not Blades of Steel, not pro sports hockey, but plain old Nintendo ice hockey, because I still find this has the absolute most fun gameplay of any hockey game on the system. And frankly, uh, it's tons and tons of fun to play today. We played a ton right now. Jeff from Go Game Go and I, we, we stream it all the time. We'll play on the Nintendo Switch. It's one of the games you can play on the, the Switch. And we'll stream Best of Sevens online. And we've had some great games, let me tell you. I think he's up. He's won the last couple Best of Seven tournaments against me. But always in the seventh game. And there have been blowouts both ways. Uh, man, it's just been a lot of fun. And you can pick this game up at any time. Uh, put it in and I'm sorry. It's just fun. It doesn't matter how realistic it is It doesn't matter that it's the six different countries instead of uh, NHL teams no licensing for it doesn't matter this game is just great fun to play head-to-head -head. and It's so much fun to play head-to-head -head. not really so much single-player But it's so much fun to play head-to-head -head that it's number two in my all-time favorite list from the NES Omnibus volume 1 A through L ice hockey if you haven't played it, play it. Number one. So here's a game, my number one. And I don't think you guessed in a million years what it is. Uh, it is the very first game that I ever remember beating from start to finish myself. And that is Karnov. I don't understand why this game does not get more love. It was a, it was an arcade title. It was a port from an arcade title. I've never seen it or played it in the arcade. It looks kind of similar. But I just simply love this game on the NES. Uh, I've worked my way through it, all the different items. It's kind of got a quirky uh, type of control for controlling the different items in it. But you just sort of get used to it. Uh, I had never had any real problem with it and frankly just really loved playing it. I found the enemies were good. There was a good system for beating pretty much all of them. Um, a lot of repetition, a lot of jumping, fast button presses, flying, timing. I don't know. I just really, really love this game. And this is another one that I know that I've beaten when I was a kid. I haven't beaten it in 30 years. But maybe I need to stream that and work on a few different, uh, make a few different streams where I go through again and relive my youth and beat this game. But number one on my list of all time favorite games in the NES Omnibus Volume 1 A through L. Who would have guessed it? Card off. Well, guys, that's it for my top 10 games. It was so much fun looking back and making this list. I'm flipping through the book, looking at all the different games that are going, oh, yeah, what ones am I going to pick? And there's a lot that I had to rule out. Um, but that being said, you know, I got looking through this one and I kept thinking about other games that I really love on the system and that they're going to be in Volume 2. And the more and more I think about it, the top 10 list from Volume 2 is going to be a lot harder to pare down than the list made from Volume 1. Anyway, guys, thanks for spending a little bit of time with me today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. You take care. Papa P, Papa P, the old ass gamer. P, Papa P, the old ass gamer. If you haven't grown up. Hey, Brett Weiss here, host of Tales from a Retro Gamer and the author of the SNES Omnibus and many other books. You have been watching Papa Pete, the old guy gamer. He is in fact so old, he's probably as old as me, maybe even older.